Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time. As a kid, I was a huge fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, and this was actually my uh, first non-Super Mario World uh, Super Nintendo game. So, played Mario World for quite some time and I got this, I managed to convince my parents to get me this for Easter, which is not really a present giving um, occasion, but I managed to get away with it, so it was all good. Anyway, let's go into options, I'm going to be playing this on hard mode, which gives you an extra continue, but is a lot harder, so you probably need it, <laughs> but uh, I probably won't. Um, I like to change it to control type C, where the special attack is set to the A button, um, just because it's a little easier. Set rest to seven. Now there's a code you can input on uh, uh, the second controller at the start menu. Um, I bet you guys can guess what code that's going to be since this is a Konami game. But, uh, but yeah, if you do that on the second controller, it'll allow you to have ten more lives. We shouldn't need that. Uh, and then this is really neat option. The color mode, you can choose to have it the animated uh, animated color style where they were all the same color or the comic book style where they uh, had different colors I'm gonna keep it with animation just because this game is based more on the cartoon than it is on the uh, on the comic books but uh, let's, let's do this 1992 alright um, so these are the four turtles Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello and Raphael um, Leonardo is the most balanced. Um, Michelangelo is pretty balanced too. He's probably a little stronger, but a little slower. Um, so these two are your middle of the of the road characters. Donatello is the slowest, but he's also the toughest, and he has the longest reach with his bow staff. Raphael is the weakest physically of the four turtles, but he's the fastest. Um, and he also has the shortest reach. Uh, I'm usually, I usually play as Michelangelo, so I see no reason why I should do any differently. Oh, look, it's April, April O'Neil. Yes, yes, it's April O'Neil. Oh gosh, it's Krang. What is he doing? He just, he just stole the Statue of Liberty. Hey, Shredder, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. That's just a great line, right there. Okay, Big Apple, 3 a.m., and there's a little silhouette. Every stage will have this opening where you can kind of see a silhouette of the boss. Oops, I went a little too fast there. Um, just a note, if you uh, if you pace yourself, you can avoid triggering certain enemies so you don't only have to do a couple, one or two enemies rather than four or five, because obviously it'd be easier but um but yeah I'm not doing a good job of that right now alright one bad guy there you go this wrecking ball will take a ton of damage away from you if you get hit by it so don't fight near it try to stay on the left or right of it and you shouldn't have any problems because they will come to you you don't have to fight them there's the pizza um, as in all Turtles games, pretty much, the pizza will completely renew your health. Okay, these guys are getting on my nerves. Stop hitting me. There's one of the uh, two special attacks you can do. Um, I like this attack mostly because um, it gives you more points for the enemy you're actually uh, defeating. Wasted that opportunity. Oh, I actually got one of them with it. That was amazing. The explosion was off screen and it totally killed one guy. Anyway, yeah, that pounding attack will give you two points uh, for the enemy you are pounding. And it'll also give you two points for any enemy that it hits and knocks out. So it's a great, it's a great screen clearing attack. It's definitely the best attack you can use. Um, it'll rack up points. Just a great way to go. Um, so you'll see me doing it a lot. It's not always easy to predict when it's going to happen. There's the other special. Oh gosh, get out from there. 
as we're saying, it's not always easy to predict what special attack, if any, will happen. You have to get them keeled over like that, and then get in close, like that. So you've been seeing some of the uh, different types. We've got the purple one here, which is your basic foot soldier. No big deal. Punches and kicks, and that's about it. Ooh. Well, kick him, jump kick him, and then run to the other side so you can kick him again. Sometimes you may need to do a shoulder charge to get out of the way. Baxter is not hard at all. And as you see, I just kicked his gun away, so he's going to switch to this hand shooting gun. Which is kind of ridiculous, actually. But, you know, Baxter Stockman's pretty ridiculous anyway, so... Just jump kick him. You shouldn't have any trouble whatsoever with this guy. And, oh, I got him. There we go. Grab the pizza. I didn't even need it, but it gives me an extra point. And Big Apple 3M is cleared. Excellent. Nice job, Mikey.